Right now, Hillsboro school leaders just announced a new program on district buses designed for safety. They're partnering with a program called Bus Patrol to help protect all of the students on the buses. Eight on your side's Beth Russo is live there with how it's uh, designed to keep kids safe. Beth? Hey, Stacy. So this is a big deal because it makes Hillsborough County the first school district in the state with this type of bus school camera safety system. You can see those cameras that are posted right up here. Drivers are going to listen up to this because it's going to mean changes for them as well. So the bus patrol system like you just saw installed on the outside of the bus. When a car illegally passes the bus, that camera system is going to take an image of the car that is moving past it when the arms are out, when the lights are flashing red. Eventually that image, which is going to be time and date stamped, that is going to be sent to the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office. If that is verified by a deputy there, that means the driver is going to get a $200 citation in the mail. Right now, 1100, which is the entire fleet of buses for Hillsborough County schools are being outfitted with this technology. Law enforcement leaders here in Hillsborough County, as well as the school district, say this is a huge deal because 90,000 students here in Hillsborough County ride the bus daily. Daily. The goal here, obviously, to keep them safe as they're getting on and off the bus. Again, this isn't about generating money. This isn't about ticketing a bunch of people, uh, a bunch of our drivers. This is about correcting and modifying a, a pattern of driving behavior. Statistics have shown in places where this technology has been deployed that 30% it's a 30% improvement in violations year after year, year over year. So this system, Bus Patrol, covers the cost of it being installed, and then the money from citations is what's going to keep it up and running. So it really comes at no cost to the school district, they tell us. This does not go into effect tomorrow, even this month, or even by the end of the year. Right now, they're outfitting these buses, the entire fleet, with the system. They say they're going to start using it in January, but there's going to be a 30-day period where drivers are just going to get warnings, and then in February, they say, is when they'll likely start receiving those $200 citations.